Codes of Ethics, ACS and ITPA. So codes of ethics in the ICT industry serve as guidelines for professionals to ensure ethical behavior and responsible practices are followed within each workplace. These codes help establish standards of behavior, protecting the interests of stakeholders and maintaining trust within an industry. So as said, they're industry wide and we're gonna take a look at now two professional associations who have developed their own codes of ethics. And you're gonna see similarities between the two of them anyway, but essentially saying what good workers within the industry should act as in relation to ethics. And so these are the guidelines for that. So. The first one is the Australian Computer Society, the ACS, their code of ethics. And they have four key principles in relation to ethical behavior within the industry. The first one is that of professionalism, which is acting competently and ethically in maintaining knowledge and skills, that you're constantly trying to grow in knowledge, okay? And then you help people out and you are giving people the right information, essentially being a professional. Secondly is that of honesty. They are honest and transparent. So which means that you know what they're planning on doing, what their goals are. They are quite open about who they are as a professional. Okay, they respect the privacy of data as well that they act, are interacting with because obviously that's a very sensitive area within the area of ICT that they are dealing with confidential information. Okay, and they are respecting that and keeping it private. So honesty is key because data is sensitive. Okay, and that's another feature that is seen as important within workers within the ICT industry. The third point then is that of respect in that the people within the industry respect the rights of all individuals within society. You are a person of service in the ICT industry. You're developing things that you're hoping, helping society, okay? you People come to you for guidance on how to use IT services and technology. So you treat everyone with dignity and respect. And then the final point, which I already just alluded to, is that you're acting as a benefit to society. You're striving to ensure that your work contributes to the growth and well-being of your community, which goes beyond the workplace, that you're trying to allow the human race, your community, everyone to grow through you doing your job and doing it in an ethical manner. Okay, that you're seeing the collective, everyone helping them grow leads to everyone benefiting. So that's the Australian Computer Society's uh, Code of Ethics. And look, we're gonna take a look at another Code of Ethics too. And that is that of the Information Technology Professionals Association, the ITPA, their Code of Ethics. And you're gonna see a lot of overlap. And reason being, it's because these are all seen as virtuous traits to have, okay? Good traits to have. So you're gonna, it's gonna sound like I'm repeating myself right now, but these five points are very similar. So the first one is that of competence, that you're striving to improve skills and apply knowledge. So once again, to trying to be a professional who's continually trying to grow in your profession. Second is that of confidentiality, that you protect confidential information and respect privacy. So once again, that whole aspect of honesty, okay, that we work in a sensitive industry and we're dealing with information that we have to do as a part of our job. We're not allowed to share that information. We shouldn't be trying to go through that information to find out uh, dirt on people. No, we uh, respect confidentiality and we are honest people and we use it to do our specific tasks to help those people out. The third point is that of integrity, which obviously correlates with honesty as well, that we act honestly, we act ethically and with overall integrity. The fact that when people come to us for help, they have faith we're gonna do the right thing, okay? They feel that us as a worker in the industry can actually help them out because of the reputation we've developed with that integrity. It is very hard to earn high, a high level of integrity, and it's very easy to lose through unethical behavior. So maintaining integrity is obviously extremely important if you want to be seen as a professional. The fourth point is that of legal compliance, that we've got to abide by laws and regulations that exist, okay? There is no ifs or buts about it. Laws are in place and regulations are in place and we need to comply with them. Even if we do think doing the opposite is the right thing for the community we're working in, well, no, that goes against ethical behavior. We do need to follow laws and if we do think that there's an issue with them, then we go about it the right way. We go through the right channels and see what we can do there. And then finally, that of social responsibility, which once again correlates to benefit of society in the ACS uh, code of ethics, okay, in that we are striving to benefit the community through our work. If everyone had that mentality, imagine what a great place the world would be, okay? But we in the area of ICT, 
we know we can make a difference. Technology is such a great avenue for allowing people to grow. But obviously there are hurdles with technology with its use in how it fails uh, when we really need it to work the most. And obviously learning new technology and keeping up to date with it. That is what the ICT industry is for, for supporting people in that manner and guiding them that way. So really not just our own growth, but what we know in our heads can help others grow so much and with their daily work and what they want to give to the world can be assisted through their use with technology as well, even if it's not in an IT field. So I hope this video is giving you a good understanding of codes of ethics and really what are seen as a valuable traits through each of the codes of ethics, you know, that are being a professional, being honest, respectful, having integrity and using our skills to benefit the overall society.